Hi, I'm Tom Jones, and welcome to another free art lesson. I get a lot of feedback from you uh, students out there, and I'm glad to hear from you every day on how much you love these free art lessons. Today I've got a, a special one for you. I'm going to work with my new brush set, and I'm going to show you how to create a realistic dirt road. I want to take a moment and show you a couple of things. One, you may notice on this side of the dirt road, I kept the value very light, meaning the tonal value. On this side over here, I kept it quite dark, sort of as a contrast between maybe where the, the shadow is hitting this side of the dirt road, and over here, it's in sunlight. I want to show you an approach that I like to use, where I will put down a solid line here to create a, a, a track a track from a car or a vehicle. On this side, I'm going to show you how I would take just water on my brush and lift out for this particular track that's left on this side of the dirt road. Let me grab a number eight round brush and I'm going to simply take some color in my palette. I'm going to take maybe a little burnt sienna and I'll mix up a little burnt sienna and maybe a touch of a little bit of hooker green, just a touch of the hooker green but mostly it's going to be the sienna color. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to paint in this track. Now keep in mind that in the distance, this particular line would be a thinner line, and as I get closer, it would be a thicker line, a wider line in other words. So that's perspective, thin in the distance and wider as we come forward. Another good point is to use a tissue or keep a tissue handle handy so that if it gets a little too dark, I can lighten it just a little bit. So let me grab a tissue real quick, and here we go. I'm going to take the brush and watch what I do. So I get wider as I come forward, and then take a tissue and just lighten that just a little bit. Let's do a couple of these tracks just to show you how I would do it. So I added a little more green in that one. We'll have it disappear in the distance, and then as we get closer, we'll use a positive brush stroke just to create the illusion of a tire track as we come forward. I might get just a little darker in the foreground here and keep it lighter back here. So let me do this one more time in this area. And that's how I would create that look of a tire track coming down the road. Now on this side, what I would do is take just water on my brush. And I'm going to create a tire track here as well, but I'm going to do it by lifting out color. Now keep in mind, it's just water on my brush, and I'm going to come forward with the brush, just water. I'm going to pat that area, meaning I'll lift up the excess color, and watch what happens. See how I've just lifted the color? So over here, I've painted a positive brush stroke. On this side, I've lifted out. Let me do it a couple of more times, just to create a thinner line. So we'll have a couple of thick and a couple of thin lines as we go down the road. Something like that. So watch what I've done now. This gave me a realistic look of tire tracks on the road. Over here again, positive brush strokes. Over here, just lifting this out. Now let me take one moment. I've got an area of grass here. Just to add a little realism, you can take an X-Acto knife, much like this one, or a razor blade. Uh, an X-Acto knife works best, I think, because it's a safer uh, instrument to use. But I can create the look of some grass on this side of the road by just taking and dragging this particular Zacto knife through the darker area. Now let me show you an idea here that I think is important. One is that in order to do this and be successful at this, this area in here has to be dark. I could do the same thing with the tree area over here, but keep in mind that if I'm taking the color out of here and it's too light, then this is not going to show up as, as it would if it were darker. Over here in the tree area, watch this, we can do the same thing. We can simply lift out to create the illusion of some vertical uh, tree trunks in this area of trees over here. So you can have a lot of fun with that idea too. So there's a little extra lesson plan for you. But here's an interesting way of creating tracks in the road, doing it with positive brush strokes and here by lifting color out. I hope you've enjoyed this very simple and very basic uh, art lesson, but I think you'll find it valuable to use in your paintings. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again soon.